Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we will look at simulation of a pacemaker circuit in LTSPICE and PySPICE. An artificial pacemaker is an essential life-saving medical device for people living with certain heart conditions. It is estimated that close to a million pacemakers are implanted every year worldwide. This picture here shows a pacemaker device implanted inside the human body. A pacemaker regulates the beating of the heart by delivering periodic electrical impulses. In adults, a pacemaker typically establishes a resting heart rate of about 72 beats per minute. In its simplest form, a pacemaker consists of a first order RC circuit and a controller. When the voltage source is connected across an RC circuit, the capacitor starts charging and the voltage across the capacitor starts increasing towards Vs. The charging time is governed by the time constant. Initially, the controller behaves like an open circuit allowing the capacitor voltage to increase towards Vs. However, when the voltage across the capacitor reaches a certain value V0, the controller is triggered and it starts to act as a short circuit or a current source, allowing the capacitor to discharge. This discharge time is considered negligible compared to the charging time. Once the capacitor discharges, the controller starts to act like an open circuit again, allowing the capacitor to recharge. This cycle of the capacitor charging and discharging establishes the periodic electrical impulses needed for the pacemaker to work. The design of a pacemaker circuit is achieved via this equation shown here. This equation calculates the resistance needed to achieve a desired heart rate H in beats per minute, where C is the capacitance, Vs is the voltage source, and V0 is the capacitor voltage at which the controller switches its mode. This equation, which is available in standard textbooks, can be easily derived as shown here. Please pause the video now if you wish to study this derivation in more detail. Let us consider a design example and its LTSPICE implementation. Suppose the desired heart rate is 70 beats per minute. We select typical values of C and Vs. The value of V0 depends upon the controller. In our case, any value between 60 to 75 percent can be typically selected. Using these values, we can work out the resistor value as shown here. The LTSPICE implementation is shown here. We can model the controller using a voltage control switch. The switch model is defined here. This switch trips at Vt plus Vh and Vt minus Vh values. With these values, Vt plus Vh equals V0 as desired. Also, the value of Vt minus Vh is 0 0.02, which is close to 0. More details about the switch behavior is available at this link shown here. This is the circuit implemented in LTSPICE. The voltage across the capacitor is providing the control voltage for the switch controller. The 50 ohm resistance is representing the human patient. We are running a transient simulation for a duration of one minute. Also, we are plotting the steady state solution. When we simulate, we obtain the output voltage 
and it can be verified that this corresponds to 70 beats per minute. We can also simulate the circuit in PySpice by defining descriptive node labels as shown. We can transform this circuit into the netlist shown here. The LTSpice switch model and settings map across to PySpice very well and this is shown here. We can use the circuit.voltageControl switch command to define the controller. Please pause the video now if you wish to study this code in more detail. This is the complete PySpice implementation. The code is available in the video description as well as the comments section below. We have standard declarations at the top. We define the design parameters and calculate the required resistance. This value is then input to the circuit. We have the circuit netlist here. We are running transient simulation. And finally, we have the plotting commands. When we run this code, we obtain the voltage across the capacitor. And again, it can be verified that this corresponds to 70 beats per minute. First order RC circuits have many practical and exciting real world applications. In this video, we have looked at the design and simulation of a pacemaker circuit, which uses a first order RC circuit. I hope the video is helpful to your learning. Thank you for watching and liking the video and subscribing to this channel.